Welcome to West Caper Adventures. This is our little slice of paradise we call home, Brentwood Bay, or Boozy Bay, British Columbia, Canada. Meet Lachlan, West Caper's trusty captain and all around Mr. Fix-It. I'm Michelle, first mate and MV West Caper's personal chef. Join us as we explore all the beauty the BC coast has to offer on our 39-foot lobster boat. This is West Caper Adventures. We made it. Campbell River deserves a lucky. So we'll have access to the alcohol. Yes. Oh, you're an old game ballast in the aft end. Your basil's doing so much better than mine. Oh my god, you should have seen it yesterday. It was not. <laughs> my basil is dead. Hey, welcome back to West Cape Adventures. On the last part of our journey, we made our way through Desolation Sound to Campbell River. And today my old roommate and buddy Jamin is graciously helping us acquire the chain we need to get our windlass up and running in Port McNeil. We have 50 feet of chain right now being hauled up by the power of Lachlan. Uh, and we've upgraded to 100 feet being hauled up by the power of machines. So uh, this is very exciting news for West Caper. In this episode, we begin in Campbell River and we boogie our way up Johnstone Strait all the way to Blackfish Sound and beyond to the Broughton Archipelago. And of course, there's no better way to start your day than to see a group of orca whales transiting through Seymour Narrows along with you. After a rush morning to get to Seymour Narrows, we're here early, of course. Um, but we saw whales on the way, that was a bonus. And topped up everything in Campbell River, got our chain, um, and now we're deciding if we want to keep pushing on to Port Neville tonight or find an anchorage closer in the new tomorrow. Dunno. Guess we'll see. are in Port Harvey. We originally planned to stay in the Thurston, Thurston? Thurston Islands? Thurston Islands? And um, we decided because of the weather that was impending and just because we could, we continued on and basically did a really good chunk of the Johnstone Strait because it was uh, ebbing with us and we just kept going. So it's 8 p.m. We just got to our anchorage. Um, we're pretty zonked. Gonna have some tea. Go to bed. We woke up in Port Harvey to some beautiful weather to transit through Chatham Channel into Blackfish Sound. When entering Blackfish Sound, 
from the south, you have two options, Blackney Pass and Chatham Channel. We chose Chatham to duck out of Johnstone Strait a little early into some calmer water and to avoid the wind. So we are in Port Harvey this morning and then we set out for Chatham Channel. The slack was at about two o'clock so we had some time to just putter around. Uh, and then we headed to Potts Lagoon which is in Blackfish Sound um, because there's westerlies and there's a gale warning for Johnstone Strait but it's been all right so far, knock on wood. Um, but we headed into here because of the protection and it's Italian night so we're making bruschetta with some fresh basil and pasta Italian night Italian night Lachlan's good buddy, Taylor, who's a pilot, decided to pop by and say hello from a beaver. You're never truly alone on this huge coast, and it's a pretty great reminder of that. It's Monday. And it's windy. Very windy. So we haven't moved. We're just hanging out. Play a game, or two. Read a book, or two. Dunno. Lachlan brought along his little two-horse engine that he had as a kid for a rebuild as a little project to keep him busy. A lovely feature of our Anchorage Pots Lagoon is the lagoon itself uh, and you can paddle in there with your dinghy at slack tide or around slack tide. Uh, you just got to be careful not to get stuck in the lagoon and it worked out for us uh, that it was about at 9 o'clock at night so we had a nice little night paddle in the lagoon. We woke up to a little bit of fog, a little bit of rain in the morning as we made our transit through Beware Passage. Uh, and I think it gets its name for all the rocks that are hiding under the surface. But we transited at high water and we didn't have too much of an issue getting through there because it was pretty calm though. Good luck. Thank you. Bring us back something, you hear? I'll try. Big sport fishing boat. Check this thing out. There he goes. Off to catch us some fish in the rowboat. Lachlan caught a fish. We're not gonna name it because we're gonna eat it. And if I name it, I'll become attached. It is a wonderful morning in the Broughtons. Lachlan, where are we? We're in Waddington Bay, Bronwick Island. And the blue sky's poking out. It's been gray and foggy for the past couple days, so we're lucky to see some of that blue sky. Uh, and we're gonna head out 
on a little boat adventure with the dinghies, my kayak, Claflin's rowboat. Maybe do some fishing. Definitely pull a crab trap that we set yesterday. Claflin caught a fish last night via his super fast dinghy that he rose. So that was cool. And yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, beautiful little archipelago to explore. Mm -hmm. Lots of coves and reefs and good spots to check out. Maybe have some lunch on a little island. So at all, see what the day holds. After Waddington Bay, we were keen to get a little closer to Port McNeil, so our next destination was Mound Island. And it was a little foggy during the morning, but it cleared right up for us in the afternoon for a beautiful run. It's so warm! <laughs> Lachlan and I are fixing prawn traps as a as a fun date idea. Right, Lachlan? Very fun date idea. Yeah. Um, all you need is a mink and some prawn traps and uh, a whole bunch of replacement netting and twine. Great evening. Really fun. Let's try that too. We got pad thai for dinner and one crab that we caught today. Pretty excited. On the way to Port McNeil, we put down our prawn traps in Beaver Cove and set out on our next adventure. The installation of the windlass. See you next time. And remember, home is where you anchor it. <laughs>